Hi, this is Hu Chang. Welcome to my channel. As you saw in the last video, we went camping with the rooftop tent mounted on the back. Today, I'm going to test how the battery efficiency changes when driving with the rooftop tent installed and compare it to the when it's removed. Currently, the rooftop tent is mounted and I'll be making a round trip to downtown to see how the battery efficiency turns out. From here to my destination is 28 3 point miles and it takes about 35 minutes. Using an app called TestLab, I can get more detailed information. According to the app, I use 13.7 kilowatt hours to drive 28.3 miles. That means I average about 2.06 miles per kilowatt hour. On the way back, I went to a different destination which was 20.7 miles and took 28 minutes. This time, I used 9.8 kilowatt hours, average about 2.1 miles per kilowatt hour. Now, I'm going to remove the rooftop tent and test it again. I store it by hanging it from the garage ceiling. I have swing hangers mounted on the ceiling and use ratchet to lift the rooftop tent. I'll put the product links in the description below. First, I park the car so the rooftop tent align with the hangers and hook the ratchets onto the crossbars. Then I raise the air suspension to the maximum and remove all the crossbar bolts. After tightening the ratchet hook to the crossbars, I gradually lower the height of the air suspension and the crossbar naturally come off. Be careful at this point as it can shake if the balance or position isn't right. And move the car out and adjust the ratchet to lift the rooftop tent up to the ceiling. The next day, I drove to the same destination again without the rooftop tent to check the battery efficiency. I took the same route but there was a bit of traffic so it took 2 minutes longer totaling 37 minutes. The battery usage decreased by 2.6 kWh to 11.1. .1. This means I got about 2.5 miles per kWh and calculating it, I used about 23% more batteries when the rooftop tent was installed. Comparing the return trip, I used 9.8 kWh with the rooftop tent, but only 8.5 kWh without it. On this route, the rooftop tent caused about a 15% increase in energy usage. I expected the battery efficiency to drop due to a weight and air drag when you have a rooftop tent installed, and you can think of it as roughly a 15-20% to decrease in efficiency. I made a table of this test result for easier comparison. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. See ya!